the one on theta looks like on X tools. There's your parameters. You've got your, oh, back up. There's your well name. There's your static fluid level, your pumping fluid level, size and weight, pump depth, anchor depth, specific gravity of your kill fluid, stable pumping temperature, and your mean temperature, okay? And then they give you both stretch and pounds of pull. Now, I'm going to take a second right there to talk about that. Um, and, and Slumber Jade talks about it. Pretty much everybody says calculate the amount of tension, convert it to inches, okay? Don't go out there and tell your pulling unit crew, go give me 12 points. They're going to give you 12 points. If that should equate to 10 inches, they don't care. 12 points. So the friction between the tubing and the casing can get you 12 points and not put enough tension in that tubing and enough stretch. Convert tension, I mean pounds, to stretch, okay? Always. Always convert it. If I get to going too fast and y'all want to stop me, just go ahead. There's the Baker formula. Like, like I pointed out, really, the only, diff oh. the only big difference is right here. They use your actual bore of your pump, okay? Right. You run through the formula. They, they don't take into consideration your temperatures either. Well, I'm not sure why they made that decision. I tried contacting a few of them, and I couldn't get an answer. But, but that's the big difference in their formulas. You can run the same scenario on a well in all three. If you use the same bore size, they're all within 100 or 200 pounds, a lot closer than what we can measure with a pulling unit. There's Slumber Jays. Point out right here where they talk about it, you know, convert the inches. I don't know if you all can read that or not, but convert the inches. Don't use pounds. F1, F2, and F3 are just like we talked about. F1 is your load based on your bore. F2 is your, your annual mean temperature minus your fluid temperature at the surface. And F3 was the, um, you minus off that, the, the delta of those two. So they zero each other out when you look at the next page on the next chart, which is, this is the Slumber J charts. Operating fluid level. There's your mean, your mean temperature minus your pumping wellhead fluid temperature, and then down here is your, your pumping fluid level. They're all about the same. The key is, is, is when I called around and talked to me, to a lot of people, most people had a rule of thumb. Most of them were at least enough, but a lot of them were overpulling their tubing quite a bit. Really doesn't hurt anything. They're well below tensile strength. But I, when we get into some setting pro procedures here in a minute, I'll show you some issues that that has brought about. Once you